The Jimi Hendrix of the Freedom Summit is a governor. That's Chris Christie, who has Terry Branstad on speed dial at this point. They've spent a lot of time together. So I say to you, Kathy, not sit down and shut up, but rather, will Jersey play here in Iowa? Well, if you're talking about personality, um, I think that uh, Chris Christie's personality does play in Iowa. I know people talk about Iowa nice, but I think people really like it when he gets up in the face of the media, when he is brash and aggressive. Now, am I going to advise him to tell a little old lady in Dubuque <laughs> to sit down and shut up? No. And in fact, those, those ladies in Dubuque might tell him, you know. You know, I think people look at this all wrong. It's not, will, I, will Jersey play in Iowa? It's Will good Christie show up? The good Christie, even when he's aggressive, when he's within the bounds of what people accept, he's a very strong candidate anywhere in the country. Bad Christie, over the line Christie, he doesn't even play well in Jersey when he does that. So I think you're right. He can play here. It's going to be interesting to see tomorrow. He's the main establishment candidate who's at this event his tomorrow. His big challenge is his politics, not his personality. I mean, he's got to play in a conservative Republican Party. And he's got to be able to attract establishment people like Terry Branstead's uh, crowd. And he can do that. But he's also got to pull from some of these other segments of the Republican Party. And I think it's a question about how well he plays with the con Christian conservatives. And he and Congressman King actually built up a relationship. Right. That's part, at least part of the reason why he's probably here. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. The other thing I think about Christie is, you know, he's not given the kind of speech you were talking about before, kind of melding together. And on this state, this type of stage, melding together a policy speech as well as the kind of one liners and, and, and red meat type of lines. It'd be fascinating to see if he chooses tomorrow to really prepare, not just come in here and wing it and try to break out with a strong performance. And you look at the national audience. It won't be so bad if they boot him, honestly. Not impossible. If he handles it well, it could be a good thing.